This video is gonna cover how to register your Akai MPK Mini Mark III. This way you can download the software, get your codes, activate your software. I wanna show you how to do everything I just said in this video. Check it out. What's up, my name is Matthew and I hope you like making music because that's what this channel is about. If you're new here and you want tutorials on how to make music, consider subscribing. So if you're watching this video, you probably just purchased the Akai MPK Mini Mark III and you want to, you know, go ahead and download the software that comes included with it because there are some free instruments that come with it and you can download the MPC Beats software and there's also a couple expansions that do come with this. So what I want to show you is how you can register this device and then once you register it, you're going to have access to all the other software downloads. Let's get into it. So if you go to Akai Pro slash download, it's basically going to tell you how you can go about doing this. And it's going to say that you need to create a login. Once you create a login, you're going to have to register your account and then you can download your software. I'm going to show you how to do all those things right now. So if you don't have an account, you need to click create an account. All right. And then you're going to be able to put your first name and last name in and then your email address and create your password. I already have an account, so I don't need to do that. So I'm going to click sign in. All right. It says log in here. All right. And you can get to this at any point in time as well. If you go to akaipro.com and press sign in, it's going to take you over here. So once you created your account, go ahead and put your login information in here. All right. And then go ahead and sign in. So once you sign in, you're going to see all your registered products. If you don't have any registered products, that's fine. All you have to do is register your products. So make sure you are right here where it says my registered products. So that's the last um, little menu down here, my registered products. So if you don't have anything registered, just click in there and put in your serial number and you'll notice um, it says your serial number starts with the 21 in the parentheses. That's going to be on the back of your device. Right here is your actual serial number. So that's where you're going to find that. Go ahead and register your product. So once you successfully registered your product, it'll say successfully registered your product and it'll give you a green check mark. And then you'll find it down here on your list. So it says MPK mini MK3. So once you register your serial number, make sure you scroll down and you're going to be able to see something that says MPK mini three software. It says all you need to get started. Simply run this installer and we'll get you all set up and use your serial to unlock the included instruments. So, what you got to do is press over here where it says get me a serial click that so that's going to give you the serial number you're going to need that serial number to go ahead and you know unlock your software but before you unlock the software you need to download the software so you need to download your software so i have a windows computer so i'm going to click download so once it's done downloading make sure you find where it's at in the folder all right i have it right here but i'm actually going to drag it to my desktop so I'm just going to pull it from my downloads folder to my desktop. I just like doing that. All right. And then you can always save it for backup on your computer in case you need it later. But I'm going to double click it. It's going to open up the software manager. And you can see MPK Mini Software Manager Setup. All right. So it's going to open that up. It's going to install it there. And you can see that it opened up there. So once it does open up, you're going to see all these different options. Now, if you don't see this editor right here, make sure you do go to your settings here and show advanced software. So that's going to show the MPK editor. I'm just going to go straight ahead and download all this different stuff. So I'm going to download hybrid three. I'm going to download mini grand. I want to download velvet and I want to download MPC beats and the MPK editor. And then I'm going to download these here. So these are actual sound packs. So you got your producer kits, your soulful drums, your lo-fi, producer collection, trap and soul lo-fi beats. Now it didn't say that these came with it on the box, but I'm seeing them here. So I'm just going to download them and install them. So I'm going to click download on all of these. So it's really nice that they did include all the software and one kind of package like this. So it makes it easy to download everything. And this way you have everything right there. You just download it there. You can activate it right here and, um, you can even open it from right here if you want to. And I know this is an improved process from the previous version. So I'm happy that they did, you know, kind of update this whole process for you. And while that's downloading, I do want to show you right here where it says more info. All right. So go ahead and click this. So Kai Professional, they do want to support you. So you got different videos that you can go through. So you got your different performance videos here. 
Okay. So that's very good. You got a forum here. All right. I'm trying to show you this, guys, because, you know, you never know when you might need these resources. You got an FAQ here. So here's an FAQ, like really nice that they do have this support. You got a user's guide. All right. So you got some information in the user's guide. You have troubleshooting and then you also have support. All right, so you can do your inquiry here. So you do have resources that Akai Professional are providing you. So take advantage of those resources. And you can always ask questions in the comments as well. So everything's finished downloading. I'm going to start the install process. I'm going to start right at the beginning. So here's Hybrid 3. And then I'm going to install it. So step one is to install. Step two is to get the activation code. I'm just going to press step one. I'm going to install it. So here we go. You can create a shortcut if you want to. I'm just going to press it and see what it looks like. And then I'm going to install it. So once it's done, you can push finish. And then you got to get your activation code. So I'm going to press get activation code. So in order to actually activate this particular software, this is the hybrid three, you do need an iLock account. I already have one, but if you don't have one, you would click right here, create an iLock account. So if you press create an iLock account, this is what it's going to look like. So you would fill this out and you would set up your account. It doesn't cost anything to do, but this is how you would do it. Once you create that iLock account, you can open your, uh, you know, Akai Professional account. And this is where you would get that code that we created earlier. So I'm simply just copying the serial number. So once you copy the serial number, you would launch the program. So I'm launching the program now and I want to enter that code or that serial number. So I'm going to press activate and then I want to put the serial number in. So I'm just going to go control V. It's going to paste it in press next and then go ahead and put your email in or register with your existing iLock account. I want to register with my existing iLock account. It says, please select the activation location. So I'm just going to do it on my computer. Now, if you did have a hard iLock, actual USB iLock, you could put it on that, but you don't have to. I don't even know where mine is. I'm just going to activate it on my computer. So I'm going to pick this computer activation successful. And by the way, this is what hybrid is. It's a synthesizer so it's a digital synthesizer and here you go this is what it looks like let's go ahead and close out of that if you're finding value in this video remember to give it a thumbs up it's going to help the channel it's going to help people see this information all right it's valuable information so i do appreciate you for doing that and i'm going to keep going with my day here so here we go mini grand is next so the first thing you do is you just install it and then you go through the same process. So this is a setup for the mini grand. I'm going to create a desktop shortcut and then I'm going to install it. And then it's going to take a few seconds to go ahead and install. Click finish to exit setup. All right. I click finish. Now we got to click get the activation code. I already got it. We already got it, right? We already copied it. But if you didn't, you would go ahead and copy it. So I'm going to just cancel out of that because we already have the app right here. I'm just going to press open. Mini grand is now launching. Once it opens, apparently we got to install that all right so let's see if this is in here so let's choose that directory oh yeah i think that was it so there we go we got a grand we got a little mini grand oh yeah i like that and then let's go ahead and install this velvet all right install now I'm going to create a desktop shortcut again, just because I want to, and I'm going to install it. All right. It's going to go ahead and install this. And then we're going to go ahead and see if it opens for us. Installing, installing is much better when it actually works. Installing, installing is much better when it actually works. So again, it says step one, install, and then get the activation code. I'm just going to close that. We already got the activation code should be already activated. So I'm going to open it just to see if it works. It says Vel Velvet's now launching. Content cannot be found. If you run into this issue, go ahead and press this wrench here. Click here. Now, you're going to have some issues trying to find this pop probably. But what you have to do is go to your C drive. Okay, so if you go to your C drive, right click, show hidden files. And then once you show your hidden files, go into your program data. All right, and then go to Air Music Technology, Velvet, choose that one. All right, now once you choose that, you need to restart it. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to close that and I'm going to open it again.
So we're all hooked up there as far as Velvet goes. So there you go. We installed Hybrid 3, Mini Grand, and Velvet. We used that serial code that was in our account to activate all three with our iLock account. All right, so we went through that process. That's the hardest part of this. Everything else, we just install it and it's going to install. We don't have to worry about activating it. It's all right here within our MPK Mini Software Manager. MPC Beats is right here. Let's go ahead and push install on that one. Once you push install, it's going to start installing. Okay, go ahead and read through this. And when you're ready, push I accept the agreement, press next. All right, I'm going to create a desktop shortcut, press next. Going to press install. It's going to take a couple little moments here to install. So the MPC beat software is finished. I'm going to not launch it now. And I want to push finished. And now we got the MPK editor. So I'm going to press install on that. So what the MPK editor does is it makes it to where you can customize all the parameters on your MPK mini. Boom. I'm just going to go ahead and push next on that. Accept the agreement, push next, install. And it's going to install it. It takes a couple of moments. Push finish. And let's keep moving on. We got our producer kits. So I'm going to install the producer kits. And that should only take a few moments as well. Accept the user agreement, press next, install. Now the producer kits, um, it does take a little while to install because there are a lot of kits that they actually give you with this, which is very nice, very generous of them. And then the other ones don't take as long to install because there's not as many kits. So I'm gonna finish that. And then I'm gonna install the soulful drums. Accept the agreement, go to next, install. And you can see this one's going a lot quicker. It doesn't take very long for this one to install. All right, press finish. I want to install the Lo-Fi Producer Collection. So I'm going to go ahead and install that. Finish that one. And I'm going to install the Trap Soul and Lo-Fi Beats expansion. Let's go ahead and accept that. Go to next. Go to install. I want to finish that. And at this point, everything's installed. So we got everything installed. All right. And the last thing to do is just plug in our controller and go into the NBC Beat software and check everything out. So I'm going to close this out. Now keep in mind you can come back to this software at any time to go ahead and open up any of this stuff. All right. But I'm going to go ahead and close that. And then on my desktop, I created this. I'm going to go into NPC Beats. Double click that. So when you first install your NPC Beats, it's probably going to tell you to plug in your controller. Um, I went through and I did a setup video about MPC Beats, so you can actually check out that video. I will link that video up here as well, so check out that setup video for MPC Beats, and it's going to show you how to set up everything. All right, but let's go ahead and just get into this. So I'm just going to open the basic template here, all right, just so we have some sounds in here. So I do want to show you this, now that I'm thinking about it, just in case you don't watch the setup video. I just want to show you this. So if you go to your menu and if you go over here to your preferences, make sure you pick um, a driver. Now, if you don't have a sound card, pick ASIO for all. And I do have this driver here. All right, you could test it like that. And then you go to your MIDI sync here. Make sure your MPK3 mini is on control. And if you do want to use the sync option and, you know, use note repeat, make sure that's on sync and you send your MIDI clock. And then you would put your controller on to receive external. I'll do a different video about that. But that's how you would make sure that that's set up. And if for some reason you weren't able to set up your MIDI controller whenever you opened up MPC Beats, go ahead and make sure you go to MIDI Learn, which is right here. All right, so it is Control plus Shift plus L. All right, or just press this little icon down here. It's going to take you over to MIDI Learn. And then you can actually click right here and go to Factory, go to Akai. Select right here. It says the Akai MPK Mini 3. All right, so that's going to get you set up. And you can see I can use this to play different things there. So one thing I want to show you is on your C drive, if you go here, go to Velvet. All right, you might want to actually copy this little file here and actually put it in your VST folder. I don't know why it doesn't do it when it installs it. I have VSTs in a couple of different places on here, but right here I have them. You know, I also have them in here as well. So this is the Steinberg folder and the VSTs. So I could put it in here. And if you look at this file location, so here's the mini grand VST. 
Now you may or may not have to do this. I just want to show you this now so I don't get a hundred questions about it later. All right, so go ahead and put these in your uh, VST folder, wherever that is on your computer. It might be different locations. But for mine, if I go to Program Files, Steinberg, VSTs, all right, and then whenever I go over here, and then I go to my editor, and then preferences, and then plugins, I can scan all the new plugins. All right, when that's done, go ahead and pick done there. And then I'm just gonna go to an unused track, make sure I pick a plugin. All right, I wanna click right here, click VST. All right, I got my Velvet, I got my MIDI Grand, I got Hybrid, all right there. So all I have to do is just load them up. So if I go to Velvet, all right, create a new program. And as you can see, Velvet loads up nicely right there. If I want to change it, I could go to Mini Grand. All right, let's go ahead and hear that one. All right, so Mini Grand loads up. And you can select your presets here. All right, so there you go. And then what's the other one? Hybrid is right here. All right. Whoa. All right, you can select your presets. All right, so you got everything there. Again, there's hybrid. Your mini grand. All right, and then velvet. <laughs> if you want more information about the Akai MPK Mark III and MPC Beats, click or tap the screen right there. That's going to give you more information about this product in this software. All right, I hope you liked the video. Remember to give a thumbs up. Subscribe below. My name is Matthew. Continue creating music. We will talk soon. Peace out.